Good morning, my name is Jess. Today I'm going to help you learn how to unmold these silicone molds. I've been a candle maker for over five years and I own sixspice.com. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to unmold these. This is a great video for beginners and if you're an experienced candle maker and are having trouble always with tapered molds, like molds that go inwards, doesn't have to be this tree shape and you're worried about um, how to unmold it, this video would be great for you as well. Put your wick straight and trim the bottom. Remove the elastic from the sides. Now, um, because this one is cut, instead of peeling like how I've been doing the other ones, what I'm going to do is open up the slit like that. And that's how I'm going to help peel this one back. can see there the details are coming out lovely and you can do one side and then gently flip it over hold the bottom of the mold instead of the candle and if in this instance it's sort of like as I'm pulling the candles kind of moving around so I'm just gonna put my thumb here on the bottom of the mold and then lift up to try to preserve that side and you can see here I kind of cracked it but just try to go a little bit slower I went too quick with this one and then to get to the bottom you just push pull these sides away make sure the wick's straight again and then push with your fingertips so I'm putting my fingertips here and I'm pulling away the sides of the mold and then I'm pushing up to get the tree out and try and gently pulling the wick through the bottom of the mold. And there is our little Christmas tree. And I can see I have cracked this one. So because I have cracked this tree, and I know I have cracked trees, the top of this tree in the past. So what I'm going to do is cut down the mold a little bit more because I think... It is not cut quite enough so if I cut up the mold just with like one of these these knives here and I slice down the side a little bit more then the next time I'm making this I won't snap the top off again and you just have to make sure that you don't cut all the way down just a little bit more. Now that should help prevent snapping the top off. You just got to make sure that you don't cut all the way down to the bottom and like cut it completely in half because then it'll be like nearly impossible to seal up. I just need to do it here again. There we go. If you have a candle then that keeps snapping at a certain spot like this one did, um, check to see how far down you have got your mold cut because there's no reason I'm using a hard wax. I've got the, I've got the, the candle mold cut. There isn't really a reason why it's snapping other than I'm bending it like this too much and then it's just I'm cutting because and I'm just um, snapping it in half. So I just cut down the sides there. And now the next time I unmold this, I will have to check the top just to make sure I'm not snapping it there. But if you have like a tall mold like this that tapers inwards, so it gets weaker as it gets to the top and you're snapping the top of it, cut your mold deeper into, deeper into the, um, the skinny part of whatever the shape is and then you should prevent it from snapping so if you've got like ears you're snapping off of like a dog or something like that I've heard that or if you have one of these like lotus flowers and you keep snapping off these leaves or something like that cut down the side near to where the problem area is and then as you unmold it you can unmold it gentler and then you won't snap it.
I hope this video was helpful for you and good luck making your trees and whatever candles shapes that you make. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps it spread to other makers who could benefit from it. And if you've made it this far into the video, consider subscribing to my channel. I do all sorts of different types of videos to help you as a candle maker grow and evolve. And of course, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments section down below and I will answer all of them. If there's anything that you need help with or another shape of candles that you would like me to do, please let me know and have a really wonderful day and good luck with all your candle making. I'd love to see your candles in action. Bye.